Hi, so I did my paper on should parents be allowed to coach their own kids in youth sports. Um, great youth sports coaches are needed to uh, help mold um, the youth in America today, but it can be a slippery slope. Um, conflict can arise between uh, the parent coach and parent, parents of other players on the team. For example, um, there are internal conflicts that can arise between the parent and the son or daughter, um, if not managed correctly, and that uh, can be a big con. Um, however, after doing all my research and really diving deep into it, I'd still believe that uh, parents should be able to coach their own kids in youth sports um, just because I think the, co the pros outweigh the cons. And also, if you look at the statistics, 85% of youth sport coaches have a kid on the team. So that pretty much shows that there's not um, enough volunteer coaches out there to coach all the youth sports um, in America today. Um, so that's kind of just – that's how I look at it, and that's and now I will dive deeper into – um, the arguments that I research. So the first pro argument is um, being a parent coach creates memories that last a lifetime. I mean, just think of, for, for example, like winning a championship with your kid is just like a memory you'll never forget, um, both as a kid and as a parent. The second argument is uh, being a parent coach puts you in the best situation to deal with your ch child's mood swings. And this argument makes a lot of sense because when it comes down to it, you know your kid better than any other parent coach would. So I think this argument makes a lot of sense for allowing um, parents to coach their own kids just because they know them so well and know their their weaknesses too. Um, the third argument is that if a parent coach is truly dedicated to understanding his role, as his or her role as being a positive role model, um, separating coach and parent roles, for example, and treating all players the same, you have full control over the type of things that your child and other children learn. And this is, can be a very positive situation. Um, the final reason for allowing parents to coach their own kids is that youth sports allows uh, a parent and child to spend more quality time together. I mean, for example, in, today, in today's society, it often is very hard to make time for your kids because you're working so hard to provide for them. And sometimes you just don't have time to, to have quality time spent with your children. That's what youth sports uh, gives both the child and parent. Uh, the con are the first con argument is um, many coaches have coached their kids for self-serving reasons, and this becomes a big issue and is why many conflicts arise with the uh, youth sports coaches and coaching their own kids today. The other well-documented issue is the inability to separate the role of being a parent from a coach. Oftentimes, when you are a coach of your, you're coaching your son or daughter, you have a hard time. Um, distinguishing between the two because it can be tough um for example when you come home after coaching your kid and in whatever sport it is you shouldn't be still coaching them and like talking to them more about sports you should uh leave that behind and talk about other things and oftentimes this d doesn't happen and leads to many problems between the relationship between the parent and the child um the other big issue is parents of other players complain that their kid's not playing enough um because they these parents of other um, kids see um, that you're, if you're playing their kid more, for example, that it's not fair, and a lot of bad conflict can arise from the situation. And then the last major con argument is that a lot of times when uh, parents coach their own kids, their kids get burned out from the sport and oftentimes quit because a lot of the fun is taken out when their dad or mom is always harping on them to get better and stuff. And so that's a big argument too. So, as far as relating this back to the textbook material, uh, a lot of these topics, um, I think, came up. Uh, one that stuck out to me is how uh, youth sports athletes spend a significant amount of time with coaches, and this could be the most important relationship in their life, and I truly do believe that. And it was something that came up a lot in my research, doing my research. The other, um, the other topic that was in the youth sports crisis book was uh, the burnt out topic, how just kind of having your parents always involved and maybe coaching you, for example, can really lead kids t to lose the fun of the game. And that's a big uh, topic that kind of related with researching this topic and reading the book. Um, as far as research that can be done, I think there needs to be more screening of coaches, um, maybe through interviews or just kind of just trying to f gather more information on every single youth sports coaching candidate because 
we need to eliminate the ones that are only coached for self-serving reasons. And this is something that I think needs to be done to make youth sports better and improve it even more. Uh, as far as um, important trends about this topic, I think there is way more debate on this topic than there was, let's say, 30 years ago, for example. I think it is a debate that is being discussed more, and I think that's really good because it needs to be discussed more because we need to get as many great coaches coaching youth sports, whether they're parents of players on the team or just volunteer coaches. We need more good coaches in this uh, in America today to help not only produce great athletes but great human beings as well too. And as far as this relates to me on a personal level, I think this, just kind of learning this and going through all this will make me a much better um, parent coach hypothetically down the road because I do want to uh, potentially coach my kids in sports. And I think just kind of doing all this research, I now know what it's kind of what it takes to be a great youth sports coach and, and be a great parent and coach as well. And I think all of this information that I learned was um, really helpful and useful because I think I will use it down the road in my life. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you.